Up to $500 million will be invested into high-performance computing hardware to support AI innovation. And this is just one component in a slew of measures announced by the government today to help local companies reap the benefits of AI. As small companies can tap them to adopt AI-enabled software, while enterprises now have access to a new scheme which pairs them with tech giants to develop generative AI solutions. Nicholas Ng has more. Dental chain q &M has made AI part of its workflow. The technology has helped them to cut down the time to complete basic tasks from minutes to seconds. Normally, we have to do something called dental charting. Okay, and this is the examination and diagnosis for the patient. And this AI has streamlined this process to make it a lot easier. The software automatically analyzes X-ray results and generates a report. Dr. Raymond is happy with the software, even if it was a long road to get there. It took four years, over 20,000 X-rays and millions of dollars of investment to produce this tool. During this process, q &M needed to get the expertise to develop the software, as well as the hardware needed to run it. AI Singapore helped with that. Announced today are new measures that help other companies access similar resources and expertise. These are on top of existing initiatives to boost digitalization among small businesses. Sir, Singapore does not have the natural advantages of many other economies, but we can well punch above our weight by being agile and making full use of technological enablers like digital and now AI to continue enlarging market opportunities for our enterprises and creating good and exciting jobs for Singaporeans. For more digitally mature enterprises looking to develop their own solutions, a new initiative called Generative AI for Digital Leaders will give companies access to the expertise and resources of tech giants. The government is also investing in hardware needed for AI innovation. We will be investing up to $500 million to ensure that Singapore can have sufficient high-performance compute to support our ambitions in AI innovation and capacity building. We envisage that these resources will support use cases across sectors such as financial services, healthcare, transport and logistics. Plans are also underway to establish AI centres of excellence within companies and across sectors. The scheme aims to identify industry-wide challenges, starting with the manufacturing sector. AI solutions will be developed according to the sector's needs.